people from serial killers to murder mysteries, Keith Morrison has seen and investigated it all over his 25 years on Dateline. Yeah, his latest project, A Fatal Confession, takes him to Texas, where a man says he was forced to confess to a double murder he didn't commit. Watch this. I was not in jail. I was just like, why, God? You know, why, why, why? You know, if anybody knows I'm innocent, I mean, it's you. I mean, yeah, I wasn't an angel or nothing, but I was far from a murder, you know? Except, of course, he'd already said on paper that he was. It's a confession. I confessed. Exactly right. I said, guilty, I did it. Why yeah. would you say I did it if you didn't do uh, You it? know, like I said, unless you experience it, you know, you really just can't fully comprehend. What really happened? And here to talk oh, about God. what really happened is Keith Morrison. Welcome wow. back. Thank you. Thank you. So good, good to, to be here. Yeah. Good to have good you here. Guys. Yeah, so you first met Daniel back in 2011. Been following this story for quite a while. Yeah, yeah, so bring us up to speed and why you're, you know, bringing it back into the light. Well, the this is perhaps the most dramatic courtroom scene I have ever witnessed in my ridiculously long career. Wow. Somebody should kick me out the door. No <laughs> way. Not, <laughs> not yet. No. <laughs> but man, I mean the story is it it just kept getting more and more amazing and yeah. dramatic and you know uh, this you had to tell it again. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean can you tell us what's going on with him right now or do we have to watch to find out? Well, I told you what was going on. Uh, I don't know. Well, you? it's not just that because you really give us great interviews, great detail of what happened since you, you know, uh -huh. since the very beginning to, you know, from when he made this confession. Sure. Um, so, what will we see in this? Well, uh, for one thing, you will see that the state is still pushing back, has been, you know, doing so all along, and maintains that this is a true confession. Why did he but confess? Well, you know, the thing is, we run into this time and time and time again. Yeah. You would be amazed at how many people confess to horrific crimes they did not do. Well, look at the, the Central, Central Park, Park 5. Five yeah. is a perfect yeah. example, yeah. but it's far from the only one. I yeah. mean, Lord, I don't know how many hundreds or thousands of people are spending their lives in prison because yeah. of, you know, in one night in a interview room at about three o'clock in the morning and yeah. they're 16 years old don't know what they're doing and yeah. they will so it's kind of coerced say, well maybe if i just say i did it they'll let me go home yeah and, yeah and then it's over so. so and you interviewed a lot of people for this you've interviewed a lot of people over the 25 years sure. you've been doing this have you ever gotten emotionally invested in a story because i imagine you get so close yeah, oh, yeah. to these people uh, you, and their stories you do and i and i really i have to confess i got pretty emotionally involved in this one yeah, yeah. The, the other thing at the heart of this particular story is that none of this would ever have been revealed if it hadn't been for a guy who knew absolutely nothing about the law. He was a contractor for him, yeah. so he built, you know, buildings and... Um, he put a lot of money and into And he it. was the sleuth who figured it all out. Right. What's your process like? You've covered so many stories for, for something like this. I mean, you know, are you working with a team of producers? Is there one particular producer that you work with? Are you just diving it all on your own? Is your desk a mess? A mess? <laughs> what's the process? Well, I, yeah, what's the process is you find really good producers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, I work with a lot of wonderful people who yeah. uh, and have been working with, you know, um, Oh, half a dozen or more really ace people who, more than that actually, who yeah. have been um, at the top of their game for a long time. Some of them I've been working with the whole, even longer than being at Dateline, 25, 30, 35 years. Wow. Yeah. Um, these people are just awesomely good. Yeah, just yeah. good at what they do and finding the stories. Which, yeah, which allows me to kind of go around. To be great at what you do. do. <laughs> yeah. well, and, very little. And because you're so good at what you do, you have so many fans and, and a lot of famous fans too. And you got to surprise one recently, and that's your yeah. SNL doppelganger, Bill Hader. What was that moment like? <laughs> we loved watching this. We loved it. Oh my God. I, I, I have to man. confess, I think both of us found this sort of terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why? He, well, he's a really nice guy, and I sort of sensed that he would be a pretty shy person. Yeah. And he is. I mean, he, he's just, but just like he was. You know, <laughs> oh, my God. Did you enjoy watching him? Like a little him? kid, you know. Yeah. Enjoyed, uh, Did you enjoy watching him? Oh, yeah. Play yeah. you? Oh. <laughs> that is something. I, yeah. you know, to be made fun of on national television is kind of like. 
Yes, yes. <laughs> you won a Trump prize. Might, Trump yes. might disagree. <laughs> <laughs> President I Trump know. might disagree. Yeah. <laughs> well, a fatal confession. Keith Morrison investigates premieres Sunday at 10 p.m. on Investigation Discovery. And you Thank can catch you. Dateline Fridays at 10 p.m. And for the rest of the summer, Mondays at 10 p.m. right here on NBC. I will be watching. Thank Wonderful. you. Wonderful. Thank you. So nice to talk to you. Both. Good to see yes. you again. Thank you.